In this video, you will learn how to measure and control one light source using the C700 text, spectrum, and CRI screens. The C700 introduction video showed how to set up the text mode to take a reading. You learned that the blue line under a button or icon indicated the display information is adjustable and that there were two pages in the meter's library from which to select. The first enables displaying correlated color temperature, CC and LB index, camera filtration, light source filtration, and illumination values. The second enables showing color rendering index values. RA is the average of the first eight and what the lighting industry calls CRI. You can also display any of the 15 special values separately. In this example, we can see that the meter is set to measure continuous light and the target color temperature is 4000 K. The measured light source has a color temperature of 2,506 K. The illuminance is 1,320 lux. The CC index indicates no green or magenta. An LB index of negative 149, which requires a full CTB blue light filter. And RA is 99.4. If your lighting world deals with just daylight, incandescent lamps, or flash, you know everything you need to measure and control your lights. However, today you will encounter fluorescent, LED, HMI, plasma, sodium vapor, and a variety of new sources now being developed. All have different color signatures, which may be deficient in one or many parts of the color spectrum, you need to know this information to use these lights effectively. Spectrum Mode The C700 Spectrum Master was created to give you the full spectrum information you need. Touch the second icon to select the Spectrum Mode. The Spectrum Mode display provides a color snapshot of the light source output along with three measuring units of our choice. The vertical y-axis represents the intensity of the light source. The horizontal x-axis represents the wavelength from 380 to 780 nm nanometer. An incandescent source is shown here. For this example of an incandescent source, the correlated color temperature is 2484K, which will require both a full and 1 8 CTB, as well as a 1 8 plus G CC filter to balance the light to the 4000K target temperature. Like with the text screen, the spectrum mode has blue lines under the displays so you can select which numeric values you want to see. To see a larger, more detailed image of the light source snapshot, touch the plus magnifying glass on the screen. Touch the minus magnifying glass to return the display to normal measuring mode. Color rendering index, CRI mode. The spectral quality of a light source will affect how faithfully a color is illuminated by that light source. The Color Rendering Index, or CRI, is a group of measured values of specific colors measured under an ideal light source. Numerical values from 0 to 100 describe the quality of the color appearance. A CRI of 100 indicates a perfect rendering of the color. Touch the fourth icon to select the CRI mode on the display selection screen. The C700 provides two ways to judge color appearance. RA, the average of color values R1 through R8, which is the industry standard. Or you can observe each value, R1 through R15, separately. The actual values of a measured light source are displayed by numerically and by a convenient color bar graph. 
Of particular interest is R9, pure red, as this color will not be rendered well under fluorescent and other discontinuing light sources. In the next and later videos, you will learn how to compare the color spectrum of three different lights to find the best pairing, how to read out industry standard filtration for balancing and color effect, how to compare and balance four different lights on a single screen, and a few more setup tips that will make the C700 your favorite light measuring tool.